button and the uh, and the menu button at the same time. Keep holding. Keep holding. And there you go. Now you can release the all button at the same time. Okay, we're gonna scroll down with the volume down button all the way to factory data reset. And we're gonna choose with the power button. And then scroll down to yes, power button to select it. And just wait, now it's gonna reboot system now. And then since I told you, like I just did the uh, bypass Google, and then what I did, I'm just gonna do a reset, and then see if they're gonna um, ask me to put the email, and I'm gonna show you the whole process to bypass this Samsung, or basically any Samsung. One, one, two. We're gonna be really quick. Once we click on the call, you just enter the the answer. You're gonna just swipe to the left, click on the internet, and then hang up. All in one second. So. There you go. You got it, my friends. We're on the internet now. Accept and continue. No thanks. And there you go. You're gonna go to google.com. Google.com. We go. Okay, the next step, guys, we're gonna just uh, go to google.com on the search bar you're gonna type google space account space manager and then we go we're going to the second link i'm not sure if it's gonna show the second on your browser but uh just to be easier for you guys this is what it's gonna say google account manager 6.0.1 apk so let's try it we're gonna click Look right here, scroll down, all the way right here to download APK. Click on it. And then your download is starting. Updates permission, so probably we're gonna go to the allow. Click on allow right here. And then there is the file. Even if they say this file can harm your device, do you want to keep it? Of course, we want to keep this, this file right here. Click on OK. OK, so we're not going to click on Open at this moment, OK? So let's follow for the next step. OK, okay guys, now we're going back. Uh, go to the search bar, google.com. .com, and we're going to type quick. Shortcut maker. Okay, so once we type quick shortcut maker on the search bar, we're just gonna scroll down all the way to, to uh, right here. Short, uh, let me just show it to you. I'm just gonna go back. Just quick. Uh, I mean, slow a little bit. Sorry about the phone, it has a crack. So we're gonna go to quick shortcut maker and then 2.4.0 APK download. Even if you say something different than this update, it doesn't matter, guys. You just can, you know, we can load it. And if you do have any questions, just leave the comments. Like I always I answer as soon as I can. Uh, okay, so we click on um, this link. This is the link right here. Scroll down, and then we're gonna download this APK. Click on it. Uh, 
the download is talking so you're just gonna wait there you go we're gonna click on ok and for the next step follow us okay for the next step after we load that we're just gonna go again google.com and then we're gonna type again galaxy apps there you go okay so on google.com we're gonna type galaxy apps scroll down and we're gonna go to this website uh, it's um, galaxy samsung galaxy apps mobile service apps samsung so we're gonna go to this website guys click on it and then we go to this logo right here samsung galaxy apps we click on it okay and right here we're gonna go and type es file explorer right here and then we're gonna go load it click on it okay so once we write es file explorer we're gonna go and then click to load all right so we're on the samsung account okay for for this guys if you don't have an uh, an account you just go right here create an account it's really simple you just write your name email password and you know um you will have the email and password you're gonna write it right here for the id you type the email that you put and then the password and just click sign in for my case i already have an account i'm just gonna put it right there and then go to the next step and i'm gonna show you what is the next step okay so you guys after you put your email you're gonna go back to the same page so once you go back just go ahead and click again to load because you already have an account right now so we're gonna click on accept and download and just wait for it Go to play. Okay, so after you guys got to this point, you're just gonna go to download right here. Go to download right here. And then we're gonna click on remember those apps that we loaded just before and we did not open them. So this is the time that you're gonna use them. So the first one is package installer you're gonna install it and then here you're gonna basically you know um, click on settings and then we go to unknown sources so we're gonna just enable it click on ok and then install great so we're just gonna go back right now don't you click on done or anything like that just go back and then we're gonna install the second app for the shortcut package we're gonna go to the same thing unknown source enable it click on ok install now we're gonna click on open okay right here we're gonna go to uh, and type Google Account Manager. Okay, and then we click on this Google Account Manager. Scroll down all the way to this right here. You will see a Google Account Manager. Type email and password. Click on it. Click on try. And here we're gonna go to those three dots all the way up. We're gonna click on it. 
and then browse browser sign in click ok all right now we are on the page of google so uh what you do right now you're almost there just put your own email and password if you don't have one create like a new email gmail account and just type your email and password i'm gonna put mine and then i'm gonna show you how what is gonna show the next step okay. okay guys so once you put your email it's gonna show exactly like this sign in this can take a few minutes all right so you will go back to the page before but you don't have to worry now what you have to do click on the power button hold it for a little bit to restart the phone power off or restart just go ahead go ahead click on english or whatever languages that you speak and make sure you connect into the wi-fi go next next agree Checking connection. Still checking for the connection. Okay, software update. You don't have to. Oh, there you go. Account is added. That's mean the account that we just did, and that we put like uh, the email and password. It's added to this phone. So what we're gonna do? Go next. Just a second. Yeah, just you don't have to do anything, just click and wait. Still looking. there you go so we're just gonna go right here click on next not now i don't want it if you want you guys this is like if you want to put your own password or like patterns or anything like that i'm not skip skip anyway another just a sec we can even wait longer as long as it works there you go and here we don't have to click on don't restore uh, banks later finish and there you go the phone is working again thank you guys for watching if okay the next step is go to the settings right here and then we're gonna try to do the reset reset the whole phone go to backup and reset click on it factory data reset 
Okay, reset the device, delete all, and there you go. So for this email, uh, for this account, we're gonna need to put the uh, Samsung account that we already created before the email, the password, and then do the to continue the reset. Okay, click start. Turn on the Wi Fi settings. Okay, put your password for your Wi Fi. Okay, and then we're gonna go on. Click OK. Next. Next. Agree. Skip. What is this? Okay, so now you're gonna show the email. You don't have to this time, so you just go skip. Skip. If you wanna put your, you know, your name, you can. If you don't, you don't have to. Click on next. If you wanna put your Outlook email or Yahoo or Hotmail, you can. I'm not gonna, I'm going, I'm not going to. Click on next. If you wanna put your password, you can do it on this step. Just gonna go no skip skip anyway go next if you want to put your email on Samsung you can if you don't you don't have to just gonna go and skip finish yay this is the last step my friend click on finish and there you go, you got your phone back.